Hello guys, and welcome to this lesson. So let's organize our folders and files as well, okay? So one thing that we have to do as a developer is to make sure that everything is in order, right? So we need to make sure that everything is on the right folder. So uh, we were trying to organize our website. When I say to organize a website, I don't mean that going to a website and add your title and then a paragraph and then like another title and then another image or so on. Like, a, you know, I'm not, I don't mean that. I don't mean like to organize in that way. I mean, um, to organize, you know, as a developer, you should be like very organized with your files and images. So ways to organize your website. First, create a folder specific just for the images. You can also create a folder for the CSS code. We're gonna do CSS later. You can also create a folder for the JavaScript code. And if you, you know, you have many projects, you create many websites, you should have created a folder for each website name that folder the same way you will call your website and then just put every file inside that folder. It's a little bit confused, but we're gonna get there, okay? All right, so let's start. Before we get into this, let's organize our website. Right now, I'm just going to create a new folder, okay? And I'm going to call it, um, let me name it this, my, well, what about my first site? My first site, okay? Going to open it, it's empty, all right? So inside my first site folder, what about if I just add every folder, every files, I'm sorry, inside one folder. Okay, just gonna right click and, you know, let me just sort by name. Okay, nothing fancy. All right. Okay, let me just, let me go back with this because I think I moved something that I wasn't supposed to move which is, I believe it's this one. So I'm just gonna add these two. And now I will add these three. Okay, there you go. <laughs> For some reason you should not touch uh, when you create, you know, when you download software, blah, blah, blah. So don't worry about that. There you go. Now I can do whatever I want with my files. Okay, so now I have an image, I have a file, I have a PDF document, and I have a file that contains some text. Okay, we're gonna use this file later. You don't have it now, but we're gonna get there later. So right now I have my website folder, and I'm gonna create a, another folder here inside my first site folder and I'm going to name this IMG, which is for the image. And I'm just going to drag and drop my image inside this folder, okay? What about the PDF? Well, I'm just going to create another folder and I'm just gonna call it um, COC for document, I mean DLC for documents. And I'm just going to, what is my PDF? I'm just gonna drag and add it there. Okay. And I'm just going to leave those two. And I will, let me sort by type. Okay. What it's like by kind, sorry. There you go. So now I have my two folders and then I have three files. Well, so let's see what happened here. What about if I go back to my website? And I'm going to just refresh the page, okay? 
So what's the error say? Your file was not found. Okay. It may be move or delete. And yes, we did this. <laughs> so now I have to go back and specify a few things. The first thing is that it's not longer in the desktop. I just going to go and double click my file. And now it's belong to desktop slash my first site slash um, index.html. But what about this now? Remember that I have my go to contact uh, link and download this PDF. All right, so let's see if it works. Let's click on go to contact and it works. Okay. But the image doesn't work. Let me just go back and click on download this PDF, but it doesn't work. <laughs> okay. So when you click on that, you basically send the link, Hey, going to my first site, you know, my PDF that PDF. But remember that this PDF is not longer within the same folder that it is the index.html and let me show you if i going back here we now move the file inside this doc folder so i'm just going to go back and i'm just going to close these two should i save See that is here now. Okay. But I don't need this. So I'm just going to move to trash. Okay. I just want to show you that it's work and I just going to click on it and open with subline test. So we, again, we have problem with the download PDF and we, what we do is we just specify that it's belong to the doc folder. Just going to click save. There you go. And for the other one, which is the contact that HTML and I click on subline and the image now is in the, let me open this a little bit more so you guys can see it is on the IMG folder. Just going to click save going back back. Let me just start it again. Just to do it from scratch index. So it's here. Now notice if I hover, like I push the little, uh, this little arrow over the link. You guys can see on the bottle here, notice here that now we say, you know, the whole link path plus the plus my PDF dot PDF. So if I click there, now it works because basically I'm telling it where to find these files here. Let me just go back and my contact. It has now it has the image because I tell in the link where to find the image. Okay. So let's go back to our PowerPoint. And again, we tell the, the right, the correct path. It wasn't wrong. It just was like the correct path because we move it from one place to another. So now you have to specify the correct path of your new file or image or document. Okay. Again, this is like the structure for a small website and you know, you have the root folder, which is my first site folder. That would be our, like our root folder. And then we have the image folder, but I just call it IMG. You can name it anything you want. Doesn't matter as long as it makes sense for you as well. And here you add auto image. 
and you can leave the contact.html, the any any HTML file, you can just leave it as on the root folder. And that's what we did. Okay. Later on, imagine if you have, this is a thing, and this is why it doesn't make sense right now. Um, having this only because we only have one image. Okay. It doesn't make sense to have this here because we only have one document. But when you create a website, you should have a lot of things. And when I say a lot of things, I mean like a few documents, a few images. Of course, you can also have a website, which is like a simple website, which is tell you only some information and only have probably one file. Who knows? But uh, if, let's say, I want, I have like a whole bunch of, categories here, I can just add more um, folders and I just can call it, let's see, uh, like docs, something like that. Um, and then you can add a whole bunch of image of doc with, you know, and then just, just rename the image and just add it like doc names and later on. And then you might have a, like another folder that is cat. And then you can just add a whole bunch of image of cat. And then you just can name it each image, anything you want. Okay. And later on, that's what we will be like making more sense. Okay. A same thing with the CSS. If it would come here and we add the CSS folder, and then we can also create another folder and just call it, um, name it like JS, which is for JavaScript. Okay. So now when you have a JavaScript file, we just can add it here and then we can have another CSS file and we are going to add it there. Right. Um, after this, uh, this is much better because if you want to make any change in the future or something like that, or you just want to be organized with your folder, or you probably create a whole bunch of website, just like practicing and stuff. So um, they will keep you, your work very organized. Okay. So I will see you in the next lesson.